Have you ever been to the Mission Valley? In this video, we're going to give you a little tour of this beautiful spot in Montana. All right, so I climbed all the way up this mountain to give you a better view of Montana. So the least you can do is subscribe to our channel. And when you do, don't forget to hit the little bell and you'll be notified every time we make a new video about Montana. The Mission Valley starts at the south end of Flathead Lake and continues south towards Missoula. And there's a bunch of beautiful spots here and things to do. So let's take a look around. So let's take a look at the map here. And as you can see, this is the south end of Flathead Lake. Like I said, Polson is located at the south end. And the Mission Valley kind of covers this whole area. Um, and then actually we're going to go down. This is actually called the Jocko Valley as you head closer to Missoula. Missoula's right down here, as you can see. Um, but we did a tour of this whole area from Polson down. And there's a couple of spots we stopped that are kind of cool. This area right here is the National Bison Range. And we'll take a look at that. And then over here in Ar Lee, we're going to go to a spot that you'd think you're in the middle of Thailand. It's called the Garden of a Thousand Buddhas. So let's take a look. So Highway 93 is the main north-south artery through the Mission Valley. And the first town that you come to when you're south of Polson is Pablo. And Pablo is home to the Salish Kootenai College. It is also the headquarters of the Flathead Reservation, which is home to the Confederated Salish and Kootenai tribes. Pablo has a population of about 3,000 people. Uh, it's a beautiful town with the Mission Mountains to the east. And they also have a little par three golf course that's part of the college that it's kind of a fun course. I've played it, so if you're in the area, you should check it out. Uh, once you get south of Pablo, the Mission Mountains really start to show up and they're just spectacular. Located along the east side of the valley here. And that'll bring you to the next town, which is Ronan, which has most of the businesses and uh, industry uh, for the, in the, or I should say in the Mission Valley. Ronan also has a population of about 3,000 people. And they have an 18 hole golf course there called the Mission Mountain Golf Club. And Ronan is kind of the, the center of the valley. Like I said, has all the businesses. Also, just south of Ronan is the Nine Pipe Reservoir. And it is a 1700 acre reservoir. And there have been over 200 different bird species that have been recorded there. Ronan's also kind of the gateway to the Mission Mountain Wilderness area. Uh, if you want to go hiking up there and explore these mountains, it's just, as you can see, just beautiful, beautiful area. And if you're wondering, in 1910, the federal government opened the Flathead Reservation to non-Indian homesteading. So people that aren't part of the tribe can actually own property here and live down here. And it's, it created a, a kind of a boom back then for Ronan and, and made it become the biggest part of the Mission Valley. And as you continue driving south on Highway 93, you'll just have the Mission Mountain views just right in your face and it's just spectacular scenery uh, to the east of the road. And right over those mountains, if you watch some of our videos, I did a video on the Swan Valley. And if you were to climb over those mountains and continue to the east, you would hit the Swan Valley. And heading south, the view here is uh, looking south on Highway 93. And there's another little town up here called St. Ignatius, but we're gonna bypass that and head over to the National Bison Range. The Bison Range was established in 1908 by Theodore Roosevelt, and it is a little over 18,000 acres. And right now there are between 350 and 500 buffalo that actually live out here. And if you wanna go out here, there's a, there's a driving trail or loop uh, around the range that you can see all the animals and just check out the area. Uh, part of it is closed in the winter that goes up high, but as you can see, the views from here are just spectacular. And we didn't see any, we didn't go all the way around the loop, so we didn't see any buffalo the day we were there, 
but if you drive the loop you will definitely see some uh, while you're out there and it's a great place to check out if you're headed down uh, between the Flathead Valley and Missoula. As we continue south out of the Mission Valley, we'll go into the Jocko Valley. Again, we're still on Highway 93 and we come to this Garden of 1000 Buddhas. And if you haven't been here, it's quite the place. We had heard about it, but we've never been here before. Uh, it sits on 10 acres. It's right outside of the town of Arli. And it's just, <laughs> you think you're in the middle of Thailand. Um, not something you'd expect in the middle of Montana, but I guess it was started in the year 2000 and they, they made all of these different statues uh, that they used in this park right here in Montana. And it's set up where there are eight spokes that surround a shrine in the middle that is Yum Chenmo who is known as the Great Mother of Transcendent Wisdom. And as you walk through this park, there are eight spokes that surround this, and each one has 125 Buddhas on the spoke. And it's just quite the, quite the shrine. And uh, surrounding that, um, surrounding the spokes is a circle that's also made up of a thousand stupas, which are little statues as well, that were also made right here in Montana. So as you follow the spokes to the middle, the shrine of Yum Chenmo is 24 feet tall, and it sits in the middle of all eight spokes with all the Buddhas on them. As you continue to take all this in, you'll notice up on the side of this shrine, up on the hill, there's a large structure that is filled with Tibetan prayer flags. And you can walk up there and check that out as well. And each one of the flags in the structure has a separate prayer on it. And again, it's just quite a, quite a thing to see. And it's just surrounded by the mountains of the Jocko Valley and something you really wouldn't expect to see here in the middle of Montana. So continue to look around the park and we'll head south in a moment. So once you leave this garden and continue heading south on Highway 93, you'll go through the little town of Arli, and there's less than a thousand people here, so there's really not a lot in this town. If you need gas or you know, a quick snack, there is a store here, but it's just a small town, and it also is on the Flathead Reservation. And as you can see, the scenery around here is just still great. Uh, as you head south towards Missoula and it's just one of those drives that you never get sick of but one of the things I wanted to show you here is they have this tunnel they built and this is actually a bridge from for the animals to cross the elk and the deer that come from the forests on either side of highway 93 to try and avoid uh, crashes with vehicles so they built this animal bridge that goes over the highway that's kind of nice so the last little town you hit is called Evro, um, and then you go down what's called the Evro Hill that takes you right into Missoula. Thank you for watching our video. Please call, text, or email for more information, and don't forget to watch our other videos about Montana.